Did you know that there is a hidden quest in Fallout 76 that can teach you how to make alcohol? And the reason I would recommend you go and do this quest is because you can learn the likes of Ballistic Buck, which will increase your damage done with ballistic weapons. This means that if you're using the fixer, it will do more damage. But not only that, you can also get buffs to your carry weight and also to your energy weapons. So getting this is a very, very important. And of course, if there's ever a daily or weekly challenge to consume alcohol, this is just very nice to have because you'll be able to make the alcohol instead of going out and looking for it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to my location. So all you need to do is go to Morgantown. This is just east of Vault 76. And once you spawn in this location, you're going to be looking for this frat house. Once you get near this frat house, you will get the miscellaneous quest to attend the fraternity party. And once you go into the house, you will then get the quest wasted on Nuka Shine. This is the quest that you need to complete to actually get the Bruin station. So now you need to investigate on what the party goers were drinking. So you're basically going to be looking for a bottle of Nuka Shine. And if you need help finding this Nuka Shine, all you need to do is follow my character up the stairs to the room on the left and you will see the bottle of Nuka Shine on a desk right next to a terminal. Once you have that Nuka Shine picked up, now you just need to go into the terminal and you just need to go into the messages. When you go into the messages, go into the Nuka Shine tab and this will complete the investigate what the party goers were drinking. Now you just need to leave that terminal and you need to go into your pit boy. You're going to be looking for that Nuka Shine and you're going to drink it. And once you drink it, your whole screen will turn blue and you will have to fight off some ghouls. This effect is going to stay for two minutes, so you just have to fight off these ghouls for two minutes. Once the effect has wear off, your character will go back to normal, but then they will pass out and end up somewhere random on the map. And once you wake up, you just need to look around and make sure that there's no enemies nearby. And once you make sure that it's all safe and clear, you just need to go into your inventory and read the Nuka Shine label. And upon reading that label, you're going to get a riddle. And the riddle goes, at our alma mater stands a boy, grey and cold. The steps behind them are the first threshold. Around the right corner, study the street. Just to the left is the place that we meet. There you can stain your skin with ink, but find the back door and we'll get you a drink. So now you need to solve this riddle to find the location to get that drink. So what you're going to need to do is open your map and go to Morgantown and you're going to be looking for Big Al's tattoo parlor. And once you spawn into this location, you're just going to go around to the back and go into the building. Once you spawn into the location, you're going to see a Nuka Cola machine right in front of you. You're just going to interact with that machine and it will open up and you just need to go down them stairs and around to the employees only office. Once you open that door, you're going to see another door right next to it. You just need to go over to that door and it opens up into a back room. Once you're in that back room, you're just going to follow my character down the stairs to a robot called Biv. Once you interact with Biv, he's going to start talking to you about Nuka Shine. And at the end of all of the dialogue, he will give you a piece of paper called Nuka Shine Ingredients Part 1. Now you need to go into your inventory and read the Nuka Shine Ingredients. So the ingredients are 5 corn, 5 razor grain, 5 wood, 2 boiled waters and 1 Nuka Cola Quantum. Now we need to figure out what was the last ingredient for the Nuka Shine. So all you need to do is turn around and go towards the terminal. Go into the terminal and go down to security door controls. And once you go into that, it will tell you that you need to go to a certain house in Morgantown. So the location that we're going to now is just north of Big Al's Tattoo Parlor next to Fraternity Row. Once you spawn into this location, you just need to go up to the house and go inside. Once you get into this location, you're going to need to look for the supply room password. So you're just going to follow my character up all of those stairs to the very top of the building. And you're going to go into the first room on your right. When you go into that room, you're just going to go over to the terminal. Once you interact with the terminal, you're just going to go into personal journal. And once you're in a personal journal, you're just going to go down to the supply room tab. Once you click on that tab, you will get the supply room code. Now that you have the password, you just need to go back to Biv and go back into the terminal. Once you're in that terminal, you just need to go and open the door. Once that door is open, go inside and you will see the last ingredient is on the table. And of course, since we're playing Fallout, the last ingredient is, of course, nuclear material. So now you need to go around and collect all of the ingredients to make the Nuka Shine. So in this room alone, you should be able to get the nuclear material. 
Now that we have the nuclear material, we need to get the razor grain and the corn. Now, the good thing is, as soon as you leave the tattoo parlor, if you follow my character over this bridge, there is a little farm that has these two materials that you need. And don't forget any of the spare plants that you get from this location. Go back to your camp and plant them because you will be using them later on for making more alcohol. So the last ingredient that we need to go and collect is a Nuka-Cola Quantum. So if you manage to already have a Nuka-Cola Quantum in your inventory from just exploring, you can skip this step. But if you don't have one, what you need to do is come all the way down to Kanawa Nuka-Cola plant. This is just south of Vault 76. And once you get into the building, you're just going to follow my character on screen up those stairs and you will go into a room and you will see a Nuka-Cola Quantum just sitting on top of a table. Just go over and collect that Nuka-Cola Quantum. Now that you have all of the ingredients, you just need to go back to Biv and he's going to get you to make the Nuka Shine. All you need to do is go into the Brune Station, go down to Spirits and you will be able to craft the Nuka Shine. And the final step that you need to do is you need to ferment the Nuka Shine. Now, usually this will take a while to do, but you can use the Flash Fermenter right next to the Brune Station. So just go over, interact with it, there will be an explosion, and you will have the Nuka Shine to turn it into Biv. And once Biv is done talking to you about how you can do his dailies every day, this will complete the quest and you will now have the Brune Station. If you found this video helpful and you want to help support the channel, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you for the next video. Thank you and goodbye.